That was the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 trailer that um, that was released March 8th. I'm a little late on this, I know. Um, so uh, I just wanted to give give my thoughts on uh, on what I think this game should be and what I think it might be. Um, here's the thing: um, it's another it's another Black Ops release. I know. Um, it seems that Treyarch can't come up with anything else to me. I uh, I mean, I love Treyarch, but it's getting repetitive. Um, although I was pleasantly surprised with the release of Call of Duty World War II. Um, I hope that it's very similar to Call of Duty World War II. Call of Duty World War II had great gameplay, amazing graphics, and, you know, etc. And I hope that Call of Duty Black Ops 4 completely lives up to its previous Call of Duty release. Um, so who knows? Maybe maybe Treyarch will surprise up, uh, or, or surprise us like no other. Because Treyarch, to me, is, um, is a really big thing. It's like a really big video game company because, because I spent a good three years straight playing Call of Duty Black Ops 1. Um, and so, I mean, I remember... Staying up for three days straight, playing one zombie match. That's how far. That's how like, you know, in depth I got into it. So, um, speaking of that, um, I want to talk about zombies. First of all, I absolutely love the Call of Duty zombies, and I like I said, I have since I was twelve years old. Um, they've never actually failed me, and they've been a huge part in my gaming experience. Uh, the stories, the story of the zombies chronicles. Chronicles, uh, has it's it's intrigued me for so long, and I just hope that they continue the story of the of um the zombies, you know, with the four main characters in Black Ops Four. Um, here's what I actually want to see. Um, we all know that Black Ops One. Uh, had probably the best campaign in all Call of Duties, and I really want to see a well-developed campaign, such as in the first Black Ops game. And I want to see a very immersive multiplayer with less micro-DLC, which I don't see happening because the micro-DLC has become such a big part of online gaming. And so um, I just honestly, I just want to see a futuristic game that continues the, the story mode and goes in more in-depth to the future. Um, and I want to see that with the raw greatness of the rest of the Black Ops franchise. So anyways, guys, that was my opinion on the Call of Duty Black Ops 4 trailer, etc. And um, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.